the NBA has announced that they will be holding a new in-season tournament starting next season. I like this idea a lot. I've always enjoyed cup competition in soccer as it provides playoff-like atmosphere during the regular season and it usually gives players who don't get a lot of playing time more opportunities. And you also have the chance of a Cinderella team from a lower division upsetting everyone. But the NBA version of this is a little different than the FA Cup or the US Open Cup. So let me read to you the rules that we know of currently for the tournament. The league will be divided into six pools of five teams apiece. The pools will be composed of teams from the same conference, but that does not mean they will be based on divisions. I like this for the most part. Uh, I have no problem with having a group stage. I, I might actually encourage it a little bit, but why they wouldn't base the groups off divisions makes no sense. You have six divisions with five teams in each of them. The NBA currently has a problem with divisional games meaning anything, and they basically serve no purpose but for scheduling priorities. So making the group stage based on divisions would not only make divisional games matter, but also could create divisional rivalries in the NBA, which would make the regular season more interesting. But maybe I'm the only one who feels that way. The rest of the tournament structure is pretty basic. On designated days during the first six weeks of the season, teams will play four group games. That means they will play each team in their pool once, with two games coming at home and two coming on the road. Obviously, that's pretty self-explanatory and makes sense. The winner of each of the six pools will advance to the single elimination stage along with two wildcard teams. The exact method of determining the wildcard teams has not been specified. The semifinals and finals of the tournament will be held at a neutral site, and the players on the winning tournament team would receive $500,000 each. The NBA's schedule released in the offseason will include only 80 games apiece for each team. The teams that do not advance the knockout stage will have two more games added to their schedule, while the teams that reach the tournament finals will play 83 total games. I honestly like the format for the most part, but I personally would make a few tweaks to it. So here is my dream NBA in-season tournament. Like I said before, make the groups based off divisions. It limits travel for the most part, it makes divisions matter, and will create divisional rivalries like in other sports. I like that they have two wildcard teams. The way I would determine the two teams is pretty simple. You take the best team that didn't win a group from each conference and make them the lowest seed. If there is a tie between who the best teams are, then you just use regular tiebreakers as the NBA does in the standings. Or you could do it soccer style and go to point differential. Either way is fine with me. I like that the NBA has the semifinals and finals at a neutral site. The neutral site that I would go with would either be T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas or the KFC Yum Center in Kentucky. Both cities like basketball and have good basketball stadiums with no NBA teams occupying them currently. I would keep the cash incentive as it would give some extra motivation to the players. But the big thing I would add to this tournament to make it something that basketball fans across the country would watch is allowing teams from lower leagues to play in the tournament. Basically how I would do this is add one team to each group stage and add one game to each group stage. Have the top six teams from the G League last season fill those six spots. Kind of like how top four teams in the Premier League go to the Champions League and stuff like that. It gives G League teams something to play for extra when it comes to qualifying for the playoffs and giving them some incentive to play good during the season as not just a developmental league. If any team from a lower tier league, like the current ABA, is willing to put up the money to play in the tournament, then take a few of those teams and have them play the G League teams for a spot. That would add an extra level of competitiveness to the tournament, as the players on a minor league team would be hungry to beat an NBA team and it would add an element of a Cinderella team possibly. Also, players could perform well and then play their way into NBA contracts. 
Overall, it would make this tournament much more like domestic cups in soccer, and in my opinion, that would improve the tournament. I know that it's a lofty thing to ask for, and there isn't a lot of structure. Hypothetically, any rich guy with enough money could pay the entry fee and enter a random team into the tournament. But that team would then get exposed by whatever G League team they play, and it would do no harm to anybody. And I'm sure there are some logistics that would need figuring out to make this happen, but if the US Open Cup can do it for soccer, then the NBA should do it as well. I know currently the main problem with this new tournament is that there is no reason for players to try. Other than the money and maybe a banner and a ring in what is basically a less important playoff, there is no reason for players to try. But I think if teams go the soccer route and give minutes to guys who usually don't play, things will get intense. As long as tournament days don't count against two-way contract time, teams will be playing two-way guys and the 13th through 15th man in their rotation. These guys will essentially be playing for their basketball lives. One good tournament game and it could lead to you keeping your roster spot in the next season. And diehard fans will care about the tournament just like soccer fans do. Maybe casual fans won't care, but me personally, I will be celebrating an in-season tournament championship if it were to happen because it's a playoff-like atmosphere and as long as it matters to the players, it will matter to the fans. In elimination games, anyone could become a club legend. I always think fondly about Alvaro Barreal's performance against Pittsburgh in the US Open Cup. A brace with both goals coming in extra time to seal FC Cincinnati a win. A random Tuesday school night turned into me and my dad celebrating an FC Cincinnati win to take us one step closer to a possible trophy. That to me is the magic of domestic cups in soccer. These games are usually played during the week, on a Tuesday or a Wednesday night, with a lineup mixed of starters and unproven backups. Usually your team's best players are sitting on the bench. They might get subbed in during the 70th or 80th minute if you need a goal to win, and most fans watching had work or school that day. They're finished eating dinner and maybe even working on homework right before kickoff or during the game. But one special moment can change everything. Maybe it's stoppage time at the end of the game and some backup striker just scored the game winning goal on a screamer from outside the box. And then all of a sudden, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter that you have work or school tomorrow. It doesn't matter that you have 10 missing assignments due. All your anxiety and worries about tomorrow are gone for a brief moment as you celebrate a win. Your team is one step closer to a trophy and you are just that much happier as you go to bed that night. I know I went on kind of a soccer tangent there, but I want to give you an idea of why something like this matters. The NBA can capture that magic with this tournament. As long as they give this tournament some prestige and give off the vibe that winning an NBA in-season tournament matters, then it will matter. And one last thing before I end the video, don't put the tournament sponsorship in the name. That just makes it sound cheap and classless. The NBA playoffs, for example, if Nike was the primary sponsor, you wouldn't call it the Nike NBA playoffs. It would be the NBA playoffs presented by Nike. Name the tournament something that sounds prestigious, like the James Naismith NBA Cup or the Red Arbach Open Cup. And if you want to have the name sponsored, just say presented by. At least that's what I would do. Anyways, I'm Limitless Pulls. Thank you guys for watching. This video idea kind of just popped in my, into my head as the summer league was coming up and I saw that the new CBA included this uh, NBA in-season tournament. We've kind of known about this since like April and I've been thinking about this that whole time. Really my main focus on this is I think the NBA should allow lower leagues, lower league teams to come and compete and try and get an upset or something like that because then I think that'll add an extra element and if those minor league guys are going hard and stuff, then they'll force the NBA players to try and it'll add kind of some competition. And I think it would just be overall better for the tournament and for the game. I'm Limitless Polls. I'll see you guys next time. Never ever wear clothes even if my clothes wrinkle.
Street Chain single, but this kid will make a whole meme. You done made the roster, that throw go make my toes. <laughs>